Hello and welcome to Comcast Local Edition in Annapolis. I'm Donna Richardson, and my guest this hour is Senator Brian Seminaire, representing District 31. Senator, good to see you. It's nice to be back again. Thank you. Everyone, we talk about the, the economy and the challenges that are going on. I want to get your thoughts about how you see the budget and its impact for us. Well, the budget is probably the biggest thing we're going to deal with this year. Um, I'm a relatively new legislator down here. This is my fourth year. And we have about a $2 billion deficit at this point. And the thing I'm a little discouraged about, every year for the four years I've been here, it's been a crisis. Mm -hmm. um, the first year, they raided the savings of a tune of almost a billion dollars. They came in in the special session, raised taxes. The next year, we had another problem, and they just started transferring funds. So this year I was hopeful that we would actually address the structural problems that we have of the $2 billion. Unfortunately, again, we are doing a lot of transfers, taking them from funds that are dedicated for other things, and it's not really a long-term fix. So one day we're going to have to pay for this, and we've got like an $8 billion deficit over the next three years. And I know it's an election year, but we really need to be dealing with instead of these smoke and mirror type of things. Now, one of the things that you've uh, introduced is a bill about tr triple tax relief. Um, and I think that perks up a lot of people's ears when they hear relief. Right. Well, it goes back to 2007. We raised taxes the largest in the history of Maryland right before a recession was coming. Uh, that probably wasn't the wisest idea. I think people can use the money better to stimulate the economy than the government spending it. So what this would do, <clears throat> when you pay federal tax, you actually bring that tax to Maryland, <clears throat> and then Maryland will actually tax that. Mm -hmm. But not only that, the county then taxes that. So you actually have a triple tax on taxes that you're paying to the federal government, and you never even see. Right. So what mine would do would give you a tax deduction on your Maryland state form, and you would get money back. Now, considering the crisis that we're in right now, it's phased in over three years. The first year is relatively small. Mm -hmm. Next year would be even bigger, and then it would finally max out to a $6,000 deduction for a, a joint or 3000 for an individual. I, I think uh, you definitely have some people that will be watching that. I think they will. Now, also, um, there's a Young Heroes Recognition Bill that you've introduced, and uh, we always want to re recognize our young people. Right. Well, last year we had a very exciting hearing on this, and it basically it does. It recognizes the young people in our state. Right now we have commemorative statutes which recognize adults and other events, but they seem to inadvertently forget about young people. So we had a great push for that this year, or last year. Mm -hmm. It passed the Senate unanimously, the governor was behind it, and on the last day in the House it died. So over the session, the governor actually made a proclamation for 2009 that the first Monday in October was Young Heroes Day. Oh. And we had a wonderful turnout. We had about 600 come out to a ceremony, and we're hoping to pass that this year and, and recognize the achievements of our young people. Because we are very fortunate uh, with uh, having young people that are quite involved. Very much so. Now, a last issue, and we have about a minute left, is, is about school safety right. and its importance. It certainly is. When parents send their kids to school, they want to be sure that their children are safe. Right now in the school system, when there's a problem, they fill out a form and send it to the principal's office, and then it goes into the system. The problem, there's no tracking. There's no serial number. If you go to a hotel and you check out, you get a serial number for your invoice. You mm -hmm. go to the airlines, you get a confirmation number. Right. My daughter even got a traffic violation, and she got a serial number. So we're, there are being underreported uh, discipline referral forms. So we have a pilot program that would institute a policy that you can track and have accountability with the safety. If we can just save one assault on a student or one assault on a teacher, this will be worth it. The teachers are behind this, right. the community is behind it, and I hope we can move forward on this this year. And I'm sure the students would feel more comfortable if there's less, less incidences going on in the classroom. Not to say that we're overrun with incidences, but the right. fewer the better. The problem we run into is the school board is opposing it this year. Now, the reason I think they're opposing it is because this is going to make the numbers go up, mm -hmm. which in the short term will make them look worse. But if you don't identify the problem, how can you fix it? We don't want a false sense of security. Right. We need to push forward this and have a long-term solution and stop focusing on the short term. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Senator. I appreciate your time. It was my pleasure, and thank you very much. You're welcome. My guest this hour has been Senator Brian Seminaire, representing District 31. And if you're interested in what Comcast is doing in your community, go to On Demand and click Get Local. For Comcast Local Edition, I'm Donna Richardson.